PK in the universe and I am back again with another video and today we're here to discuss basically this whole situation with Gerard the completionist bought every Wii U and 3DS game on the eShop. I want to discuss this topic because there's some things about it that are, just seem a little bit off to me to be honest. But first up I want to do a little bit of quick housekeeping. Don't worry guys, don't click off the video. I will put a timestamp where you guys can you know get to the part of where the video begins but there's a couple of things I wanted to address just real quick so here we go so recently I had made a Wii U video and it was a Wii U video like celebrating all the delisted Wii U games well I ended up privating that video I took it down basically I just privated it. I didn't actually straight up delete it but I looked at the video and I was getting some comments and the comments you know were um, constructive and I found a lot of mistakes. I mean, a lot. You know, at first of all, it was just a couple of things and I was like, well, there's no reason to nuke the whole video over a couple of mistakes, right? We all make mistakes. In fact, if it's something real minor, typically, and I notice it later, I just leave it in because, you know, it's a part of conversation, you know? Nobody's perfect. I mean, I do this for free. I don't do this as my profession. So, you know, if I have a little mistake, I usually don't, you know, deal with it or just, you know, or address it in a pinned comment or something. But there were so many things I found later on that I was like, yeah, there's no, I should not keep this up. You know, it's, you don't keep up a video unless, you know, it, you know, you're proud of it, you know, to an extent. I think ultimately I just was like, you know what? It's not worth keeping up and I didn't like it. I wasn't happy with it, you know? It's one of those videos I did and I actually wasn't in front of the camera at all. It was just me reading. And you know, this list, I mean, there were so many games in that list that I had nothing really to say about. So why am I even bringing these games up? I should talk about games I actually want to talk about. You know, the whole thing just felt forced. It just felt forced. So, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to quickly address that. And so anyways, let's get right to the topic. So Gerard, the completionist, he bought all the Wii U and 3DS eShop games that are currently available, at least, that are keyword currently available to buy on the Wii U and 3DS eShop before the eShop closes. The eShop closes on March 27th. It's been a hot topic lately. Everybody's been talking about, like, what games should we buy? You know, what should we get? And so the, how he did this, of course, is he actually got some sponsorship. Yes, he got some sponsorship money. And he used that sponsorship money to buy a bunch of eShop cards for the Wii U and 3DS. Now, here's what's a little peculiar about that. That part of it is interesting because the um, eShop was announced last February that it would be closing on March 27th, 2023, of course. But you were no longer able to use Wii U eShop gift cards after August something of 2022. So that begs the question, how did he... Um, continue to accrue them did he accrue them all before August I mean this is possible it probably would have taken at least a hundred some days maybe more maybe less to have bought all the Wii U and 3DS eShop games that's quite possible it also could be that he started using his eShop gift cards on his Nintendo Switch and they were doing the whole you know use the Switch balance or whatever to pay for because you, you connect your Switch to your 3DS and Wii U account then you can actually continue to use that balance. So I think that's a strong possibility that maybe that's what happened. But some other things that are a little bit odd about this situation, they're a little bit odd, uh, just kind of rubbing the wrong way. The whole, I thought it was a cool idea initially when I first saw the video, I was like, that's really interesting. That's an interesting way to make a video. That's an interesting thing to make a video about. The thing that's really off to me that is that he donated it to the gaming history foundation or whatever that seems really weird because and the argument is preservation well here, um, here's the thing the preservation argument is i think that's crap honestly if i had to be really honest i don't think it's about gaming preservation at all in fact if anything it looks kind of like a tax write-off because obviously if you donate $23,000 worth of stuff to a charity like the Gaming History Foundation or whatever, that's obviously a tax write-off. That's a tax write-off. You could write that off. But the other thing that's strange about that too is like, was this actually Gerard's real account? Was this his real account or was this a dummy account? Was this his actual account? Is he going to give the Gaming History Foundation or whatever his um, access to his account, to his personal 3DS and Wii U eShop account. 
Now, he mentioned, though, too, maybe that is actually his, because they, he mentioned, too, is that in a tweet, he mentioned this in a tweet, the fact that he got a bunch of gold coins, you know, from buying all those 3DS and Wii U eShop games. And he said he's actually going to use those coins to exclusively buy indie games. And I think that's really good. I think that's a really good thing. And I give, you know, hats off to him, sh shout out to him. That's awesome. I'm glad that he's going to do that. But at the end of the day, it's just peculiar that he would have donated it to that um, place because hasn't the Video Game History Foundation already archived 3DS and Wii U games? You would think a place like that, an organization like that, would have already done such a thing. The other thing too, I think, is donating just games in general to the Video Game History Foundation. That's not the same as, you know, archiving source code you know that's just the end product that's just the end product that product could have changed over time too that product could have changed over time and we don't know and here's the other thing too is people are like oh look he completed a console it's like no he didn't he did not it's countless games on the wii u and 3ds for years and i mean for years have been being delisted i mean obviously my original video that i had talked about how I um, privated that video and took it down recently was actually about delisted games, delisted Wii U games, games that have been delisted long ago, long ago. So he didn't have a complete collection to begin with. And I also kind of have to question, it's like, well, how long was he archiving games? How long was he doing this? I mean, did he get the Silver Falls games or that uh, Otisan game that I actually recently did a video about? How many games did he really get? We don't actually get to see the games he got. We just get to see clips. Overall, it's a really good, well done video. It's a good story, you know, and that's what making YouTube videos is about. It's about telling stories. But yeah, I don't know. The whole video just really rubs me the wrong way. That's about all I can really say about that. I just, there's a lot of things that just feel like something is off, something is amiss. I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist. I'm not saying, oh, I think he didn't really buy all those games, but I don't. I don't think this is in the name of video game preservation. I think because the 3DS and the Wii U eShop are closing and there is a sadness to this, I think a lot of people have been talking about video game preservation. That's just preserving an end product. That's not actually preserving source code. And at the end of the day, you know, a lot of these games have been saved and archived. We don't know which ones. We don't know for sure if they've all been archived and saved, but I would guess that the Video Game History Foundation probably already has been archiving 3DS and Wii U eShop games for some time now, I would assume. Because if they haven't, that's not a very good look. I mean, I thought they were in the business of saving video games. You'd think something that is, you know, and they would have known too. That's the other thing. They would have known too a year ago that the Wii U and 3DS eShop is closing. Do you mean to tell me they would not been on the, oh, we got to save these games if they hadn't already started before that? I'm not worried about 3DS games. I'm not worried about Wii U games being gone forever because lots and lots of people have downloaded these. You know what I'm worried about? I'm worried about an NES prototype game sitting in some collector's dusty old basement, you know, you know, degrading and degrading over time. Eventually that'll stop working and the you know, it'll be compromised, the entire, you know, structure of the cartridge, you know, and the data won't read right, that hasn't had its ROM dumped. That's what I'm actually worried about. I think that's way more concerning than 3DS and Wii U games. I think it was a very well, good, put together video he made. And, you know, he's got a team. He's got a whole team. It's not even just him doing this. He's got a whole team working with him. But, yeah, I just think the whole video game preservation thing... I don't, I don't, I don't buy that. I mean, you know, the games are, you know, tied to an online account, you know, a Nintendo account, but they're also tied to that system. So what happens when that system stops working? You know, I, I, I don't get it. Why did he donate the systems? You know, I, it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. I, again, I think the whole, the Wii U eShop and the 3DS eShop are closing has kind of messed with people's heads a little bit. You know, they're getting serious FOMO. And I think at the end of the day, if you really cared about any of these games, you should have been buying them all along, you know, and I, I've been buying games myself. I'm not going to say that I'm perfect and that I got every game I ever wanted before, but there's been a lot of games on sale that I never even would have considered getting. And, uh, but yeah, I think, yeah, it's kind of, I think at the end of the day, I was not a fan of his video. I, I think it's strange. 
I think it's a strange video and I don't understand why the whole video game preservation thing is a thing in it. That's what really put me off. If this was just a, I bought a bunch of games, you know, to see if we could do it, you know, that's one thing. But the whole, at the very end, just kind of ruined the video for me. You know, that's that's all I really want to say about that. Uh, I'm probably going to regret asking this, but what are your guys' thoughts? Uh, did you enjoy Gerard's video? Anyways, comment below. Love to hear what you have to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.